it's Monday morning. I've got a couple of hours off this morning. I worked yesterday so that I could have some time off today. Excuse the bed head. I haven't had a shower or anything because I've got up to watch and catch up with the Packers game from last night. It was a must-win game for us to get into the playoffs. Four games ago, it looked so unlikely, uh, and the odds of us getting in were pretty slim, but we've got it in our own hands. Hopefully, we've done that. I'm going to go and catch up with that. But also today, supposedly, BT will be coming to dig my garden up to put this fibre line in, or open reach, I should say, not BT. After lots of phone calls, lots of engineer visits, uh, finally got to a point where they said, yes, we have to dig a new trench. That should, I've been told on Friday, be happening today. I don't hold out much hope, to be honest, but maybe it will. Uh, and hopefully that won't mean that our internet cuts off uh, for part of the day, because I've got to work and I've got to catch up with the game. But yeah, if it does, it means we'll have faster internet, I'll be able to upload videos quicker. It'll be, yeah, it'll be so much better. But yeah, keep my fingers crossed for that one. But I'm going to go and catch up with the game and hope hope that we get into the playoffs. I'm not. We're not going to be getting to the Super Bowl, that's for sure. We're not good enough for that. We've had a pretty rubbish season, but getting to the playoffs will at least have turned what was going to be a poor season into something a little bit better. Well, I've decided I'm going to stop talking about the Packers on these videos because we lost again. So we are out of the playoffs. Uh, also, Open Reach didn't turn up, so... Neither of the two things that I wanted to happen today happened. <laughs> but it is the evening now, it's nine o'clock. I, the Tour de Zwift started today. Uh, Tour de Zwift round one. I'm gonna jump on, I'm not treating it as a race, I'm just gonna try and get round. Doing the middle, the middle route. It's the uh, Tour of Tuit World, two laps. Didn't fancy the long one. Uh, and wanted a longer ride than the short one because I need to up my riding. So I'm gonna jump on now. There are lots and lots of people, lots of people in the pen. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a busy ride. Hopefully I can grab some draft uh, and get around some of this without too much effort before I'm left on my own at the back and having to uh, push my way up that rather steep hill that we get to partway around Yorkshire route. But uh, I'm gonna jump on and see how it goes. I didn't actually record it, but I did do the, uh, the medium route, the first Tour de Zwift stage uh, I think tour of to it well, maybe two laps. Not the longer one, the Royal Pump Room 8, but I don't know what it is. Every time I ride Yorkshire, I forget how painful it is. No matter what way you go, you hit a hill pretty much straight away. But I did it. I got it out of the way. Just over an hour, I think it took me. Uh, and I did just gradually fall down the back as I got slower and slower. I didn't realise they had pace bots now in the Tour de Zwift. I must have missed that one. Did they have them last year? I don't remember them having them. Um, I didn't stick with one. One did come past. I did sort of slightly overtake towards the end. I think it was a one and a half watt per kilo uh, pace bot. And nobody was riding with him anyway. Um, but I got that one done. And then I jumped on last night to do the uh, Tuesday trundle. Struggling towards the end of that one as well. I'm not used to doing two rides in two days, which sounds really, really sad. But at least it's going to get me going again anyway. One problem I did have is... Uh, I pulled a muscle in my um, in my buttocks. I don't know what that's called. Is that the glute? I don't know. And I did it putting my shoe on before the ride on Monday. So I'm a little bit uncomfortable walking right now. Hopefully it'll, uh, it'll ease off soon. I do still keep getting the odd twinge in my lower back, but it's a lot better than it was. So hopefully that is on the mend as well. So yeah, um, probably slightly down to getting on the bike and riding a bit more, I guess. Who knows? Uh, I'm not going to ride today. I'm going to have a day off today. It's Wednesday and I've got, um, probably going to be working a bit late with work and, uh, also need to get the video ready. It's already uploaded, but I need to do some stuff before it goes live tonight as well. So a bit of a busy evening ahead. I'm going to give the legs a rest and recover ready for the race on Thursday. And it is Thursday, which means it is time to race TT week this week, our monthly TT race. Uh, my least favourite, I'm going to be honest, and definitely my least favourite when I'm not feeling strong. Kind of like I am at the moment. So I don't, I have no plan for this whatsoever. Uh, the last few, I've tried to keep it slow and steady for the whole whole of the race. Trying to keep my power level level. But doing any of that in any of the rides I've done this week has been pretty oh, near when impossible. So I'm just going to ride this and see what happens. 
if I'm feeling strong enough, put bursts out, try and keep in with people around me if I have the opportunity. I don't normally on a TT race, but uh, yeah, it, this is one of those, I'm just gonna see how it goes. So I'm gonna jump on, well, we can change first, jump on, uh, and let's see. Here we go then, one lap of the Greater London Flat. As I said, this is a TT, so watch as everybody disappears out ahead of me. I don't know why Sam Pye was left in the pen for a little while, but he does uh, start putting out some power in a little bit and fly past me quite quickly. And I think A. Hoogaveen didn't realise that it was a bunch start on this one, so started a bit late. But again, worked his way up through the pack really, really well. But we've not even got to the start of the race where the time is counting down and I'm so far behind those guys in front already. <laughs> it's crazy. But as I said, my plan for this one is just try and stay as steady as I can. First, second race back after last week's first race that was a bit of a disaster. Um, so just hoping this one goes a little bit better. I won't bore you with making you watch me riding around all of London on my own. Uh, but I've just hit the bottom of this hill. Seven minutes in, My f the first thing I've noticed is that I do not have that tight chest feeling that I had last week which is a massive positive. It felt like someone's sitting on my chest or like I had asthma. Didn't feel that this week, which is good. You can also see that S. Pi is now 46 second ahead. So he's caught me and flown through. And A. Hoogaveen is uh, 32 seconds ahead. Lots of familiar faces in there. C. Cross, S. Greaves, Barney's in there. C. Shaw, S. Clark, M. K. Uh, o. G. C. Little, uh, D. Howarth are the guys that I can see on the screen there. Uh, I mean, M. Blundell is at the top, one minute 16 ahead already, and that rapidly increases just as I'm going up this hill very, very slowly. In fact, you can see the dots in the top. They've already done that little loop bit, and they're heading back to uh, finishing the very, very long lead-in uh, to get to the start-finish line, to actually start the, the lap that, <laughs> that we're supposed to be doing. Uh, but despite being miles behind everyone, I'm feeling okay at this point, uh, much better than before. Nowhere near as good as I have done before, but at least it's a step better than last week. 15 minutes in, uh, nearly 8 kilometres done, 9.6 left to go. You can see my power graph is a little bit up and down, not particularly smooth, um, but nothing, nothing different to normal, I suppose. Heart rate at the moment up at 161. Um, got D. Howarth 20 seconds ahead. I did have in my mind... Can I catch, can't I? But the watts per kilo seem to be pretty consistent um, for most of this race. So I kind of thought, I don't know. I don't know whether I could push out anymore. I just wanted to to try not to blow up and just race a steady race, really, and use it as an opportunity for another ride. Um, everyone else is over a minute ahead, up to S Greaves at the top, two minutes 22 ahead with S Pi. So... Uh, yeah, quite a well spread out group. Is anyone close? A. Hoogavin and S. Clark are quite close. And MK. Uh, quite close together there with just a couple of seconds between them. Uh, OG and C. Little, five seconds apart as well. Just coming up to 21 minutes and you can see my power's dropped off a little bit here. That's just a mixture of me kind of running out of legs a bit and struggling. And I was also sort of looking forward at the rest of the race uh, and not really paying attention to what I was doing. Um, but uh, yeah, 44 seconds that gap now to D. Howarth in front, so that's split quite a lot. Uh, 324 all the way up to M. Reed at the top. Uh, very close with S. Pi. Uh, and then you know the close races at Barney and C. Cross, quite close, to, close together. A. Hoogaveen and C. Shawl and M. K. all relatively close together too. So there could be some uh, good sprinting to the line coming up. I got to this point and I thought, oh, I better start looking ahead, see who's coming close to the line. And it's a good thing I did because I found Christopher Waring, literally a few hundred metres from the line. He's going to take the win 41 seconds ahead of Pavel, uh, who's got a little bit of a gap over Chris, a 20 second gap to Chris behind. I think Chris just went out super fast. I didn't really catch what he did during the race because I was too busy. Oh, watching myself fall back behind everybody else. I didn't jump forward too early to, to kind of watch the rest of the race. But uh, Pavel is going to take second place. Uh, it's still ramping up the numbers a bit. 4.4 .4 watts per kilo. Chris up at 3.6 just behind. I saw him in the, the fours a minute ago as well. 
But Pavel going to take second. Uh, Chris Jupp has got a bit of a lead over John Bushel, so I'm not sure if that gap will be closed, but we'll take a look. Chris is going to be the next one over the line then. That actually said fourth then. I think I've missed the actual winner of the race, and I think it might have been John Guthrie. I'm really sorry that I missed it, and I'm really sorry I got it wrong in the last clip. Um, but I think Chris is going to take fourth. John Bushel is going to take fifth. Uh, he's got a two-second lead over S Fleetwood. Can, can that be closed down at all? Although John's putting a bit of a burst in up into the five watts per kilos. kilo. Can it be matched? I think it's going to be John who takes it. Uh, w Piertek and N Corbin we got to watch to the line here N Slevin also only 4 seconds behind a few hundred metres left to go in this who is going to put down the power first N Corbin up into the 6 watts per kilo is he going to catch it on the line W Piertek putting the power out to kind of match coming fast to the line is <laughs> it's going to be close big numbers coming are they doesn't look like it W Piertek is going to take 7th Followed by N. Corbin in 8th, N. Slevin in ninth, and then C. Swan uh, 5 seconds behind. You've got a Seymour 3 seconds back uh, with D. Stark just behind as well. So Seymour is going to take 11th, D. Stark is going to take 12th, J. Simpson putting out some big numbers, going to take 13th, and then back to P. Morris with N. Lafreak 11 seconds behind. So... A couple of close finishes here, none that have ended with a massive sprint to the line, um, but it's quite nice when you see such a big, um, a long, I'd say long, 17 kilometre race, where uh, it's coming down to, a, still down to a few seconds, which I think is awesome. So N. is going to take 15th. E. Middle Jans will be the next one over the line in 16th, with a 16, uh, sorry, 11 second lead over S. Greaves who's uh, 33 seconds ahead of S. Pi, who's made up a lot of ground throughout this race. That's awesome racing. Uh, just looking back a bit here, so S. Pi is two seconds ahead of Craig. Can Craig put anything out to catch? With M. Reed just a second behind that, uh, Hainel five seconds back, that might be a bit much of a gap to, to kind of bridge. Let's see if anyone can put out big numbers to, to change those positions. M. Reed. Close that gap to, to nothing. It's gone back out to a second at the moment. S Pi is out front. Nearly 3.3 th yeah, watts per kilo. Anybody behind put in a challenge. Let's wait and see. I think next up, 18th is going to go to S Pi. Craig does put down some uh, fire socks on the floor. 5.5 .5 watts per kilo. Not going to catch S Pi, but we'll take the next in the uh, in the race. M Reed will take 20th. O'Hana will take 21st, then back to Barney. Awesome racing, Barney. 5.3 watts per kilo. Over the line in 22nd. That is brilliant racing. And then back to C Cross. Four seconds behind. Everyone coming across in very short time different distances again. M Blundell just behind, going to take 24th. And then we've got a 41 second gap to uh, A Hoogaving. A Hugovine over in 25th, 14 seconds ahead of C. Shawl. That's awesome racing to catch up that time difference that, at the start and make your way through the pack. That's brilliant racing. C. Shawl going to take 26th with MK just a second behind, coasting over the line. Uh, and then back to S. Clark, who's 23 seconds behind. C. Little, 22 seconds behind that. So everyone's a little bit spread out across the rest of the course and look at that me still three minutes three and a half minutes behind coasting my way to the finish line as s clark is going to take 28th c little will be next over the line in 29th with a 15 second gap back to og and then it's uh, back to d howell with 147 and then me over three minutes behind uh, but OG going to come over the line in 30th. Here's D. Howarth over the line then. 1 minute 41 ahead of me in the end. And I just, I've lost where I am on the track. <laughs> I have to go back to me. Uh, and then it is, why is that someone ahead of me on the, oh, they've gone now. It must be where I've been. I flicked in and out of the event module. But I'm going to come across the line in 32nd place. I'll uh, skip ahead just that you can see that happen. And here is proof that I did get over the line in the end. 35 and a half minutes. Um, yeah, do, do you know, 
it it wasn't a great performance, uh, especially the second half, but it definitely felt better than the last week. But uh, we've kind of already gone through the results, so we know what they were. Let's just see who won the race to confirm that I missed someone in first. I'm pretty sure it was John Guthrie. Let me just... Uh, I've taken my face off the screen. I'm going to scroll to the top now. And... The winner was... Yes, John Guthrie with a huge 29 second lead. I'm sorry I missed it and I'm sorry I got it wrong at the beginning. Um, awesome racing, everyone. So, race done then. Uh, how do I feel? Um... I'm doing that sit down on the chair thing again. Uh, I feel more positive this week. Uh, I could breathe. I didn't have the chest breathing issues that I had last week. Uh, obviously, it's a TT race. I'm always near the back and my, my power output wasn't great. But I got through it. I did jump on uh, afterwards just to extend the ride uh, by 20 minutes and rode with um, the pace partner. Just the 1.1 watts pace partner in Watopia. Which actually I struggled to keep up with, so that's a bit bit of a worry. I just my legs were were shot, and it was just that whole thing of cycle pedal for a bit and then have to coast even at that speed. So still a long way to go. I'm not going to carry on moaning about it. I'm going to get my head down and improve, and hopefully week on week I will. But uh, it's time to get changed out of this. Go for a shower, have some dinner, and we can wrap up after. That felt a lot better this week. That's a weird thing to say. I, I was so far behind pretty much everybody. But uh, I think I didn't get the tight chestedness and I felt stronger in the legs than I did last week. So weirdly, despite, I mean, it's a TT. I always fall off the back and disappear. <laughs> disappear out the back on a TT anyway. Uh, but I think just getting in more rides in my legs and um, and not having the, the, the feelings that I was having with my tight chest and everything was uh, was all a positive. My focus now is just getting a bit more riding in, trying to get towards my goal of beating my uh, my January hours from last year, uh, and also trying to get the Tour de Zwift done as well. So I've got a couple of busy days coming up. They will be on the next video. I'll cover off how those ones go. Who knows with a little bit more, I think I might struggle a bit coming back from like one ride a month a week to doing multiple rides uh, in multiple days. I don't know, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, before I do go, I want to just mention that the race tomorrow, as you watch this video, Thursday race, we're doing something we've not done before. We're going to do a mass start race. So everybody will leave at the same time. It's not a TT where everybody leaves at the same time um, on that race. But some people were asking for something a little bit different in our races, uh, different to the chase race we normally do on a Thursday. So we're going to do a mass start race. Everybody leaves at the same time see if some of the lower categories can hide with the, uh, or stick with the higher categories, see if the higher categories can pull away as early as possible. I think it would lead to some slightly different interest, uh, different racing and interesting racing in different ways. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll be taking another step to feeling a bit stronger as well. So looking forward to that one. As usual, I want to say a huge thank you to all the channel members coming up the screen right now. Your support is amazing. And I can't think of anything else really to mention this week. It just feels good to be getting more riding into my legs. Um, it feels good, but it's also starting to hurt a little bit. So kind of got to push through that and come out the other side and get used to spending some time on the bike a little bit more. But uh, that will be done in the coming days and you'll get to see that uh, here on the channel. But that is the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, do hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.